This is the Spider-Man Stinger Strike Scorpion. It's yet another villain from the first wave of the 2011 Spider-Man figures. And as you can see here is the packaging. It says Launching Stinger. Uh, it doesn't say anymore the uh, Fiercest Foes, Collect the Cards, or Collect All Cards. It doesn't come with three Fiercest Foes cards or anything like that. They've done away with that gimmick, thank goodness. Um, great artwork and here's the rest of the assortment I'm not sure if this is a it's probably I'm not sure if this is a legitimate Mark Gargan costume Matt Gargan costume must have tweaked it at some point uh, hmm well I don't know I didn't really follow the Scorpion all that well but I have to admit this was one of the figures that I wasn't too excited with I was least excited with among the three villains that came out in this wave this was the one I was least excited with but it did surprise me it is a brilliant figure and it says right there posable tail and this is really a posable tail um, not like the lizard's tail it's got two ball hinge joints which are just spectacular you can come up with all these rat I mean these sick poses with the tail and it's just great um, a bit uh, the drawback with the, of this figure is again just like the other villains some limited articulation on the limbs there are no ankle joints um, there are no uh, wrist joints there's no waist articulation but he's got ball joints everywhere uh, even as uh, uh, on the hips knees uh, elbows shoulders and even a, a, a thigh swivel and a ball jointed neck which is oops which, which is pretty decent so you get all articulate a lot of articulation on the tail and just regular articulation on on, on the body which is great uh, the green on this figure really works for me it's metallic green and it's just great um, even on his boots there's some metallic studs right there uh, very nice really looks like a very uh, alien looking armor um, so very cool uh, another drawback for this figure apart from you know it's all good in, in almost all aspects the uh, the feet are um, soft and rubbery they're not a solid so went ahead and got a Star Wars Galactic Battle game base it does not come with any base which is kind of sad because he is top heavy and he all he has are these teeny tiny soft rubbery feet to keep to keep him balanced unless you're gonna use the tail to balance him off so that's that um, let me just uh, Hasbro is really liking this new ball hinge joint um, I've, I've seen it in, in, in the the recent Marvel Universe figures, and, and it's just great. It's a lot more seamless, and, and I really like it. So let me just stand him up on this borrowed Star Wars base. Um, the head sculpt is just great. Um, I'm really liking it. Check it out great detail um, out of all the Marvel figures I think it's spider-man as one of the best uh, paint apps there are some flaws in some of the figures like the spider-man the spider logo and some figures yeah that's forgivable but compared to a lot of the Marvel Universe figures the the paint apps and the spider-man figures are pretty good um, the gimmick he has is really a launching tail and uh, if you push this button right here it launches a very familiar very close to how the Star Wars missiles look with the this thing. I thought I was I originally thought when I got it it's like something that doesn't it's not spring loaded, it's just when you tap it with fire. If you're Star Wars fans, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm pretty I'm I'm pretty glad that they've they've spring loaded the tail and, and it's cool. The tail will stand even without the missile, but it looks doesn't look as as, as ominous or as accurate of a, of a stinger without the uh, the missile so we're gonna keep the missile right there and it, it's painted very well to match the tail so so anyway there it is uh, it's a little bit loose I don't know why all of a sudden it's gone loose well whatever I'm gonna keep it there anyway so there you go 
Um, fantastic figure. I was actually very surprised with this figure. I actually ended up liking it. Um, I actually like it more than the lizard. So for those of you deciding which figures you want, you got to get Venom first. But between this one and the lizard, get this one first. You will not be disappointed with this figure. Then the lizard last. Uh, the lizard has better sculpting detail, but in terms of playability, gimmick, posability, this one just takes the cake. This just beats uh, the lizard by a mile. Um, and his sculpting isn't bad. I mean, it's pretty good. So anyway, that's that. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this review, and I hope it, it, it has been informative and helpful in some way for those of you deciding on whether to get the Spider-Man line. Uh, if you're a big Marvel Universe fan, it's a no-brainer. you got to get this guy. If you're a casual Marvel collector, um, I would suggest you have a look at the, the figures up close. Uh, you don't have to collect everything because the Spider-Man line is just like an Iron Man line, just repainted versions of Spider-Man with different designs, so just pick the ones you want. So there you go, the uh, Spider-Man Stinger Strike Scorpion. Thanks for watching.